According to a video published by the Russian press agency TASS, the Russian army moves more T-90M main battle tanks in the Svartovsky direction, in Luhansk Arblast of eastern Ukraine. Recently, a video was published on social networks showing a T-90M main battle tattle, MBT, in the city of Bakhmut. Citing Russian MOD, Ministry of Defense, Russian armed forces will increase the deployment of the new T-90M to counter the new generation of main battle tanks donated by European countries, and the United States including Challenger 2 from the UK, Leopard 2A4 and 2A6, Leopard 1A5, and M1A1 Abrams from the US. On March 18, 2023, the Russian Ministry of Defense released a video on its VK account showing T-90M tank crews undergoing special training to combat Leopard 2A4, 2A6, Challenger 2, and M1 Abrams tanks. The T-90M is a modernized version of the T-90 main battle tank, which is in service with the Russian military. In the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, various types of tanks have been used by both Ukrainian government forces and separatist rebels. The T-90M represents a significant improvement over previous T-72 and T-80 tanks and is considered to be one of the most capable main battle tanks in the world today. Compared to older Soviet tanks such as the T-72, the T-90M offers a number of advantages, including increased mobility, better protection, and a more capable weapons system. The T-90M is also equipped with advanced electronic systems that allow it to operate more effectively on the battlefield including improved communication systems and more advanced fire control systems. Since 1992, approximately 1,000 T-90 tanks with various variants have been manufactured. As of 2022, the Russian military had an estimated 350 T-90A tanks, up to 100 T-90M tanks, and an additional 200 T-90s in storage. The military plans to upgrade all T-90 tanks to T-90M by 2025. The T-90 has a compact design, measuring 9.6 meters in length, 3.78 meters in width, and 2.22 meters in height, and weighs between 46 and 48 tons. This makes it smaller and lighter compared to NATO tanks from the 1980s and 1990s, which typically weigh between 62 and 74 tons and stand around 3 meters tall. The smaller size and low profile of the T-90 make it better suited for navigating tight spaces like forests and mountains, and its simpler design allows for the production of more tanks with fewer resources. The T-90M features several upgrades over the original T-90, including a new turret module with multi-layer armor, enhanced crew safety with the ammo rack located outside the crew compartment, and an improved main gun, the 125mm 2A82, which is the same armament as the upcoming T-14 Armata. The T-90MS primary cannon is estimated to be superior to the RH-120L, 44-120mm smoothbore installed on the German Leopard 2, as it can shoot projectiles up to 4,000m, 500m further than the German gun, 